Chance to sit next to 31 others and become the Madden NFL Club Champion here in just about a month. Well, here we go. Suspect is going to be in white. He's going to get it first. And oh, yeah. Niner oh, rocking yeah. that 2CG. Oh, yeah. oh, That's basically the default name oh, yeah. when it comes oh, yeah. to competitive Madden. He will be in the home uniforms, red with the gold pants. Here comes Suspect. You see that very first play, he had eight in the box. He's worried about that run. He is going to make sure that if Suspect runs the ball, he is going to earn all of those yards. Look at how crowded that box is right now for Niner. Yeah, he's almost got everybody in the box right now. After the first down completion out of the 40-yard line. A lot of Ohio's coming out of McNabb's voice. And all those were all just the different hot routes that he was setting up there. Well, Julio double spin to the 41. And all those hot routes became this right here. Now the pressure comes off the left side, just doesn't come in quick enough. He leaves that running back in to block. Just gives him enough time to sneak that in. It's an in route, it's a spin move, and it's a gain of 20. So first and 10 at the 41. Big drop there. Moss was open, took just an extra second to throw to him. Could have threw to him maybe even a yard or two before that cut. And I don't think that hit would have happened. But it's okay there. It's second All's and well. 10. Second and 10 at the 41. Got trips over to the left. Sharp is the tight end. Kerryon Johnson is the running back. He had some big runs in the semifinal. Interesting there, just since three. Wow, wide open. Dion all the way down to the five yard line. And even though he had eight in coverage, a man still comes wide open. It's a simple post route there. Just the flood to that side does its job and gets that man wide open for a gain of about 30. So first and goal from the five. Flex round. Flex round. Double tied in. And he will hand it to carry on Johnson. And he's just shy. Shotgun big there, and Adrian Amos makes a touchdown saving tackle. Going down to make some goal line substitutions here. Gonna be interesting to see if he keeps all five of those tip drill specialists in, even in the goal line. It's time to hold the door here. If you're nine or suspect with a great opening drive. Uh, oh. No, <laughs> not happening for McNabb. Unorthodox quarterback sneak defense there. Usually you will see players plug the gap to get that animation. Instead, he left the gap open and let the computer player jump through it. Great defense there. Haven't seen that one this year. Third and goal. Maybe a bit too far out for the sneak. And this is where your lack of talent in the backfield can come back to bite you. And he's going to try to force it in with McNabb and no sir. Fourth down. Fourth and goal and it's decision time I'm already. I'm going for it. And he is as well. This is a huge moment here in the final of the San Francisco 49er Club Championship. Suspect has driven the length of the field and has about a half yard to go. He's going to come out in the big man formation. Three tight ends, two halfbacks. It's even a fullback back there with Devlin. Less of a threat of the fullback dive there. You don't have to worry about the quick handoff and the, and the running back just ending up in the end zone because he's so quick after the handoff. We'll call a timeout here. That'll be the first for suspect, two remaining. Maybe he saw something. He's making some changes here on some of his substitutions. That seems to think that he might go outside. Maybe try to stretch the field there. If you don't have any room north and south, you got plenty east and west. Fullback dive, still a possibility here. Still could go with the sneak. Interesting to see. He does come out in goal line again. I wonder if it was maybe to get those. Uh, it's a full yard. That's fourth and goal. That's a full yard. I thought it was a half a yard. Devlin it. Goes to the fullback. Touchdown, suspect. And maybe a giveaway there that he had Devlin at halfback when he came out the first time he had him at fullback. Just didn't pick up on it quick enough there for Niner. It's up and it's good. And you see exactly what I mean here, how quick that handoff was. You give the ball to a guy like Devlin there, he's just not going to have that acceleration as soon as he gets the ball to get into the end zone untouched there. Maybe even bunches up and runs into his own lineman. Great substitution by Suspect there. And Irvin 
bumbles his way to the 42. So Niner will have great field position to start his drive, and he's going to have to answer the opening touchdown by suspect. Get our first look of the U-Trips offense here. Let's see if he tries to take advantage of the one-on-one -on -one, um, matchups this game, unlike he did last game. Then again, Suspect will have to give him those one-on-one -on -one matchups. And the way he watched that last game and the way I saw him scouting in the crowd, I am not so sure he is going to leave that man one-on-one. -on -one. The winner of this contest will represent the 49ers next week in the club championship where all 32 teams will be represented by the NFL. That all gets going January 30th. And although Skimbo won't be competing, he's a little rumor out there that he might join us in the booth. And we're looking forward to if that happens, and Ricky Williams will spin his way to the 49. Simple table route to Ricky there. He can put Ricky on that table route on whatever play that he wants with that elite chemistry that he has. Elite run, elite uh, route specialist, excuse me. So he can do whatever what he want with Ricky. He can even throw the table route. Yeah, there you go, to the opposite side, which he had at that time, didn't throw it. B is wide open. He playmakers them back. That was interesting. Maybe just for safety, I think he brings them back to the middle of the field. And I think for nothing else, even though he doesn't throw it, the fact that he had the, the running back on the table route to the right side that time. I don't think that was a playmaker. Side. I think he came back on his own. Man, it might have been underthrown and caught. Either way, it was a completion. Uh, and something Suspect's going to have to watch because I really like that table route going to the strong side. Vic going to get his pass knocked down as he also gets hit. That was Jason Taylor who had the deflection and the hit on Vic. Make him fumble, you pick it up, you go ahead and get triple threat there. That's been one of the cons of Michael Vick is... Sometimes his arm angle and the way he throws it, it's, he's not the tallest guy in the pocket, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But certainly those wheels make up for it. And he's lucky to just get that one away. And just had everything covered up with zone there. Don't know if he had anyone manned up, manually guarded someone, and that was about it. More zone than we've seen most people play today coming out of suspect. So third and 10. I think he needs a few yards to get into field goal range here. It'd be a 54-yarder from there. Certainly comfortable field goal range. Let's see if he goes to the tight end here. And there it is. And he gets hit. Caught it. Almost made a football move. Got hit. And it'll go to the turf. It'll be a fourth and ten. Almost got hit with a dose of his own medicine there with a tip drill. Instead, falls harmlessly to the ground. And it's a 7-3 lead now. Boy, that was suspect. just over the crossbar. Again, suspect 10-cap kicker, 9 or 18-cap kicker. You figure special teams advantage would then go, if it comes down to it, to Niner. What a move here by suspect. That's Randy Moss out to the 32-yard line. And that's where he'll take over first and 10. And as you see there, just a simple few scrolls of the play call uh, screen will get your stamina back up for that uh, yellow player you saw on the play call screen there. Again, the salary cap mode will help you out with the stamina, with the fatigue, with the injuries, all those being off there. Got all day, low pass, completed to the 39. That was Julio that picked it up off the turf. Flex round, flex round. Second and three. Pinches the line this time. Ohio, Ohio. He's doing different defensive adjustments with that D line every time. The block sheds are there. Not this time, however. Even a pancake. Big nab. Looking downfield, and there's a grab. And they're going to say at the 33 yard line. So nice patience. Slowly matriculating. Way too much time in the pocket there. He had a spy on McNabb. You may even think about clicking that right stick in to send that spy in when you see he has that much time. You cannot allow him to just playmaker his receivers upfield, especially when he's got three of the all-time greats on his team. Flex round, flex round. Play clock running down. This will probably be the final play of the quarter. As you see again, just so much time. 
wrote a short novel back there in the pocket. Could move every receiver that he wanted to. Had two guys open. But I tell you what, with that user, if he doesn't follow that guy that's going across the field, that's a touchdown. It is. It definitely is. And it's little things like that that maybe you give up the 30 seconds in the pocket to stop Ohio. that touchdown. Ohio. Maybe he feels he needs people in the background there to be able to do that. Ohio. Ohio. Same four Ohio. down lineman set. Ohio. However, this time he spreads it out. He sends this in the pressure when he's got the uh, spread line. Let's see if it's the same there. Yes, sir. It comes from the left side. And he gets it to Julio Jones, and Julio Jones gets it to the 27-yard line. So third and five here. And, and if you can hold right here and make it still keep it a one-possession game, this is huge for Niner. Keep it within a touchdowns game. Keep it within arm's length. Uh, the one tell that I have picked up on so far, it seems like if that line stays spread, um, sends some kind of pressure. If he doesn't, he tries to rely on the block shed. Same thing there, does send five. <laughs> oh, what a spin move by Dion. He has a block and it's a touchdown suspect. Niner sends five. Suspects had reservations for six instead. And I think maybe he's picked up on that same tell. Uh, he's, he's not, he's not, He's not confusing the look. He's not sending a different look. If he pinches the line, he's only sending three or four, it seems. Tries and to if go he for doesn't the move it, he's sending the pressure. He's going to have to mix that up if he wants to stay in, stay, to stay in this game at all. At this and point. that's what, you know, and, and hopefully Madden keeps going in this direction. I love user-on-user user plays where you're coming down, you're trying to lay a big hit stick on Dion. He spins away from you. So high risk, high reward. And this is now a huge Eagle, Eagle. moment here for Niner. U trips look again here. Seems to be what he's most comfortable in. Wide open. Nice. Good route combinations there. And he needed that. Needs some positive plays down to the 32. Two crossing posts that he had over the top um, with an in route coming from the wide receiver from the right side of the field. Good route combos there. Yeah, I, I might have had a flashback. I don't know what happened there. I think I think I saw the, I think I saw the Cowboys and Eagles there for a moment. Who are that, those two teams? That is a that is a nightmare for a, a 49er fan. Never heard of those two squads. <laughs> I'm sorry. Small high school teams. Yeah, I, I've I've never heard of them. I the don't. upstate of South Carolina that I like to follow called the Cowboys and the Eagles. <laughs> Second and 21. Kittle once again, but this time can't hang on. Third and 21, however, a pickup of, now you have to take into mind here, Suspect's got the 10 cap kicker, so it's going to be on the lowest end spectrum of the kick power. So you feel to get comfortable. He probably needs at least half of this to be able to get into field goal range. Plenty of cushion on the outside, especially with 21 to gain. 4-3 stack. Look there, if he like. can't get in field goal range here, oh, wow, what a throw. <laughs> Threw him open. Randy Moss at the 11-yard line. Did we see Ricky Williams with a little rub route here? Did we see him run directly in between the defenders to get him wide open? We definitely did. <laughs> I believe that was the first Madden rub route I've ever seen. Not like intentional that. by any state of the imagination. First and 10 at the 11. That was huge for Niner. The wheels were falling off the wagon. Did we just go PA end around? I like it. Did I just go Madden 15? And I think he had a touchdown, but was a little scared to throw it there. The tight end was by himself. I think he could have passed led it to the outside since Vic is naturally left-handed, and it would either have been an overthrow or a touchdown. Just a reminder, this is salary cap mode. That's where these players are their own GMs. Eagle, eagle. You know, that's why you don't see Jimmy G at the quarterback. They've decided to go with the legend Michael Vick. And that's not to besmirch Jimmy G, because I'm a huge Jimmy G fan. But Michael Vick, he's the one that breaks Madden. He's, he is the glitch, the original glitch when it comes to Madden. You know you're good when you go from the chosen one to Brady just needs you off his team. <laughs> a little bit of a problem there, I guess. Yeah, I mean, think of all the quarterbacks you can choose from in this game. Brady to Rodgers, you know, you know, obviously uh, Donovan McNabb that we have in this game and Michael Vick. I mean, it's... That's some of the toughest choices, and it's going to be picked off. Big pick in the end zone, brings it out, which may, no. He's going to run. Yeah. He's got a man to beat. Shazier gets caught by a fat guy. We'll have to talk about that one, Ryan. 
But that was a beautiful pick. Just jumps around at the very last second. Showed just a great click on. Was that's, manually that's following open. the running back. Yeah. That is not open. And what he did there was try to force one because he didn't because he thought he would be able to get the animation on the computer. And it was just a great click on by suspect. So here's a turnover. And now we got danger time here for Niner. He's got to hold suspect out of the end zone. And Julio splits two, still on his feet. And he'll step out of bounds at the 43-yard line. I think the suspect didn't know what to do after he came out of that animation. Now, I did, uh, I did catch a glaring um, oversight there from you. You were listing all these great quarterbacks. I did not once hear Alex Smith uh, nor Josh Johnson on that list. I'm not sure if you just forgot or what Josh happened there. Josh Johnson, Brown! absolutely. Brown! Oldest quarterback to ever get his first professional career win this season. Josh Ohio! Johnson. Ohio! Uh, I'd have Charlie Whitehurst ahead of Josh oh, Johnson. Come on now. <laughs> I'd have. Oh, okay. what a move by Dion! No time to talk about quarterbacks. It's prime time. It's going to the house. 23 with a chance to make it 21 3. There's still two minutes in the half, but this is going to be the biggest possession of Niners' professional Madden career. You are further than you have ever been on the big stage, and you've got to step up in a big way right now, sir. Take a look at it again. It's all Dion. Whoop! Just See makes ya. one miss and then turns on the Jets. You know you're fast when the other Dion Sanders can't even catch you. So first and ten at the 41 after the kickoff. That's where Niner finds himself in a heck of a hole here. Going to need a ladder to climb out. Down 18, and even if you score three, you're still down two possessions and get, gonna give up the ball. We need six here to stay in the game. See the routes he's setting up. That's from his view. Just a reminder, the suspect can't see that. That's only Niner seeing that early play art. It's not you and your buddy sitting on the couch. They each have their own individual screens. And I'm just not sure what happened in the pocket there. Uh, Vic just looked a little, just, just, I'm not sure what happened. The spin move in the pocket, and just seems like the wheels are starting to fall off here for Niner. Double no block one shed. Open downfield. Now he's sending three and four, getting the block sheds. Third and real, real long. He's got a chance to get this ball back and go up even more in the first half. So third and 22. Here's the two minute warning. You can't get 18 point. There's no 18 point play out there. So you got to stick with your offense and even if, even if you have to dink and dunk to get back in this ball game. Another block shed coming there. That time he planted his feet. Gets it off to Tyreek. Tyreek's going to pick up with half of that. It's got to be four down territory here if you ask me. Yeah, fourth and eight. I think at any point in the ball game this is probably four down territory here at midfield. And you know RG and I and have, have had a lot of these conversations, but when you're talking about the game is three times as fast as far as you normally play 15-minute quarters, but it's five, you're just going to get a little bit of number of possessions. That's why you don't see a lot of punts, especially when you're down 21 to three. Got to let it rip, and it is complete at the 37. Just sneaks it in past the legend lot. Um, and just to go on that, just does he click on in time? Let's see what happens there. He gets cleared out. Just, yeah, just clicks on. Yeah, clicked on early, just didn't get there. Lot just misses the opportunity there. Eagle, eagle. Well, fresh set of downs here. <laughs> 70 Moss seconds to go in the half. Doesn't get it off. Moss was one on one with no safety. That safety completely leaked. Moss was by himself 20 yards downfield. He could have crawled into the end zone if he would have got that football off. That was a big blitz there. Second and 16 now after the sack. Same look, same thing by Moss, I bet. Yep. Goes underneath, but Tyreek Hill makes a man miss. And he'll spin his way for the first down all the way at the 26-yard line. And that's just, I'm not sure if the left tackle is a low-cap left tackle right now, uh, but the block sheds that are coming from Jabal Sheard on that side. Niner will get the ball to start the second half. So even three here, but making a two-score game, and luckily just got it away. A little hand fighting with the tackle there keeps him at bay, or else it would have been a sack. Instead, it's just an incomplete pass. He almost landed on that and swallowed up the ball and the quarterback. 
So second and ten. Still in field goal range here. This time he goes back to the U-trips look. Gets Kittle very close to the hash there. He's going to be looking for Moss here. No question about it. He switches. Watch for Julio. He's got the time finally. And he will run out of bounds at the 21. you got to take three. If you can't get the first down here, you got to at least make it a two-score game at the half. Definitely. I do like the fact that he got out of bounds there. He's only got two timeouts, so he's saving himself one. I really like that. So third and four. 18 ticks left in the half. Got to watch out for Julio deep in the end zone here. Runs away from the pressure. Throws across his body to Kittle. He's got a blocker. That's an illegal man downfield. Come on now. <laughs> I don't think that's in the game, but timeout was seven seconds to go. 62 was way downfield. And with a timeout, in theory, he can still run the ball here. And even if he doesn't get it, get a chance to call that timeout and pick up his three points. He's not going to try it. Vic. He runs with Vic instead. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And the spin move took the extra second off the clock. The middle linebacker held him up just long enough in his arms. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. Well, these guys are playing. They're trying to get into the club championship next week. It'll be January 30th. Remember, all 32 teams will have a representative there in the brand-new studio in Redwood City at the home of EA will become the new home of Madden. We're really looking forward to that, and we're, we're really nine minutes and 56 seconds away from maybe Suspect being the one that represents the 49ers. He's definitely in control of this game, has been since opening kickoff. And up top, it's a bomb to Moss, and he hauls it in at the five-yard line. High pass ends up getting him caught at the five-yard line. That's a a touchdown. lead pass would have been a touchdown, That's absolutely. A touchdown. Alpha, alpha. It's the little things. That's the difference between winning the thing and watching it at home. But a nice two-play drive for the touchdown, shaking off that end of the half debacle. But, hey, Right now, we could be looking at a 21 to 13 game if he had just kicked the field goal. Definitely. He had a chance to make it one possession. Instead, it's two. Uh, that's a good job there. His user doesn't get to the back of that end zone there. Uh, one of those auto rockets in the end zone are going to have to be user controlled. AI defenders are not going to get in front of that. So 21 to 10. Here's Suspect. Little spin move. Got to be careful with Dion. And he'll take over at the 21 yard line, the, the old 20 yard line. Not the dude 25. No. Back in my day, <laughs> my least favorite thing in Madden, you bring the ball out, you sacrifice some time off the clock, and you don't get it to the 25. Yeah, the kickoff Ohio. used to be the most exciting thing. Ohio. One of the, I, say, I won't say the most exciting thing. One of the most exciting things in football. But you got to be safe out there. I'm okay, I'm okay with anything that leads to more safety. And you get to the 32. We're just talking about the... Obviously, Madden's an NFL game, so we're going to follow is. the NFL rules. There's no Madden rules. No. There, Actually, might, be, there might be some house rules. There's, a, there's one Madden rule. If you drop a pick, you're giving up a touchdown. <laughs> That's true. That's about the only Madden That's rule. That's true. Four minutes to go here in the third. Got to watch the pressure off the left side here. <laughs> McNabb has time, has a man. Beautiful spin. And there's Dion to the 39-yard line. Dion cannot stop himself. We've seen it all game. Can't put that man in front of him. Oh, and that's just yeah. That's just a simple, simple quarter out there. Nothing fancy. That's pretty much worked in a decade of Madden, right no there. No specialists needed. No chemistries needed. That's just a flood concept right there. So first and ten at the 39. And you wonder if uh, eventually Suspect goes to more of a, a four-minute drill, a 40-second play call offense. Carryon Johnson's got other ideas. Right at the 10-yard line, it's going to be an, an awkward first and 10 from the 10. Or, depending on which uh, pair of glasses you have on there, an incredible first and 10 if Suspect can pick this up and end up bleeding an extra minute and 20. Hey, I've also seen in Madden this change to second and goal. 
I've seen this a time or two. But I think he's just outside the 10, maybe by a hair. Now, of course, our digitally imposed line is not valid. <laughs> and that's all up to Hockley. Snaps that play clock second. all the way down, yeah. Mm -hmm. And low throw! No good. I think he dropped it at the very yeah. last second there. Had it for a moment, but knocked away. he be second attempt. Surprising to see him go to the air there. You figured maybe he'd want to bleed the clock a little bit more. Instead, it's an incomplete pass, and that clock's going to stop. I mean, there's no way to get a first down here. I know it says you can get a first down here, but there's no way. It's second and goal in my mind. McNabb out of the backfield. There's Johnson to get to the seven-yard line. A little Texas route there. One of the few routes at this part of the field that will get underneath zones, um, which is what every Madden player is looking to do in the red zone. And the angle route out of the backfield is perfect for that. So third and seven here. Boy, he's using this play clock early, and I like it. All right, it's, it's smart Madden here. He comes from a family that's been playing Madden for years and years. He goes through battles with his brother nightly. This man is seasoned here. He's ready for this. Wouldn't that be something if Canes could take home the Bears title? We might see two brothers in a Civil War action out in San Francisco. It could happen. It could. I mean, at that point, they could meet up in the finals. He's, he was playing for three here the whole time. Yeah, I, I really felt oh, like he, it was. 40 seconds, 40 seconds, 40 seconds. That's all he was worried about, except for that incomplete pass, which now makes even less sense to me uh, because of the way he's playing. I think he had a, I mean, he had that hitch route kind of drawn up, a little comeback route. And I wonder if maybe even hook, he had hoped. Called a hook. I wonder if he even hoped that it would come out of the end zone and catch it right there at the goal line. Well, he's using that clock, and there's three more points. Back to a full two-score game, 24 to 10, with just 92 seconds left in the third. It's crunch time. It's not mom's spaghetti yet, but Niners going to be feeling it on this drive as Delaney Walker picks up the short kick to the 42. Not quite spaghetti time. We're still on the antipastas here. But it's going to have to be a quick score. Hey, the garlic bread is on the table. That's all I can tell you. I mean, it's the entree might not have come yet. So first and 10 in the 42. Niner with Vic. From an offensive side here, I feel most what comfortable. Great pass lead. Pass led that up. I feel most comfortable scoring before the fourth quarter. If it goes into the fourth quarter and I'm still down two possessions, I feel the pressure much more than I do right now. Boy, a couple pass leads could have been a, tough, a totally different game. And there you see it, two plays in a row. Now that time it's just Tyreek being a smaller receiver. Yeah, he's got to reach not up, got to get exactly. that animation. But finally pass led twice there. Yeah, with Randy Moss on that last drive, that uh, he would have easily walked in. Of course, that led to a touchdown anyway, so all's forgotten. Second and ten. He's got one defender isolated on the left side if he wants to take advantage over here. Needs he's a got it. Yes. He's a touchdown. Oh, wow. That hurts. That's Can't the animate. matchup that you want. Oh, wow. Randy on anyone, one-on-one, -on -one, I'll take it. You tell me the year of Madden, I'll throw it to him. No question about it. Maybe maybe behind Vic, the second most popular player in all of Madden. Eagle, eagle. Third and ten. And Randy Moss to the two-yard line. Makes up for it there. I love the hurry up here. I love, I, I know you are not a I'm fan. I'm okay with it right here. I love this. Because you got a guy that's got a ton of secondary out there. Yep, and you caught him in something, and you still passed the ball. Boy, he could have ran it there with Vic, and he ends up turning it over. Oh, boy. Can I go back to not loving the hurry up? He's got to run it there. The reason I love the hurry up is because you figured he's handing the ball off. He well, has to. Yeah, because you got a ton of fast guys on the yeah, field you don't have a, yeah you don't yeah. have a lot of beef mm -hmm. that's an inside zone touchdown yeah. or run it with Vic it's a great hurry up and a terrible play call in my opinion yeah this is tough at the one yard line now what you also animation I think took him out of the end zone I'm not sure he was trying to take it out now what most Madden players hate here even more so than little goal and it is the view great job the view when it comes <laughs> up and then the goal post like yes. you see the ghosting of the goal post it affects a lot of us 
and some of us just fire 20 yard <laughs> dots to get out of it. It just depends. First and 10. This will take us to the fourth quarter, folks. Put down your ham sounds for a moment and hold your fours up. Because that's where we're headed right now. There's no reason to snap it here. He's got his hands off the controller. You can see him in the bottom left hand corner. Come on, let's go. He is One, not going to run this play. It's just it's another mental pretzel. And now you start doing the math. There's Madden only guy five move. minutes left. Oh. You, now my favorite my favorite Madden guy move is you put the controller down next to them and then pick it up <laughs> and act like you're gonna snap it and try to get them. That's the greatest. I'm sure there's been a time where the defensive guy has put the controller down and wiped, got his, quick wiped his hand on oh, the pants. I've, oh, I've seen, I actually seen uh, back, real back in the day, back in the Madden Challenge days, uh, seen a guy put it down and uh, actually get beat in a final four game, uh, final eight game, excuse me, because of that. That was back when RG and Chow and Rico were playing. I think the game was in black and white back in then. Uh, you had to uh, unscrew uh, one of the components of the TV, then get the RF adapter underneath and screw it back on. No, no, no. Channel three, not four. Ch channel three. There we go. All right, we got it. Does this hook up with S video? <laughs> Boy, S video was life changing. Life changing technology. I think I think the PlayStation had it first. PlayStation had S video. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, the original. So first and ten. Back of course, I grew up playing John Madden on a Commodore 64. That's how far back I go. I believe the first the first time I can remember using the 49ers, I just handed the ball to Garrison Hurst every play. Just truck it. Let's just make things happen. Like If we would have had the truck stick when that man was on the game, it would have been a real problem. Hey, uh, speaking of problem, when's he going to sign up for the 49ers Club Championship? I know he's trying to keep it at home. Mm -hmm. It's got a stranglehold out there. But, you know... With this is going to be his second year in a row. He's going to try to represent the Chargers. I mean, I know he lives in L.A., but this is your heart right here. The pride there of West There is a song Covina. about leaving your heart in San Francisco, I believe. Second and five. Wait, not afraid to just check it down right here. The Julio was just hanging out. Yeah, he found he, a soft spot in that zone, put his feet down, made a call. Actually, I believe he might have text messaged McNabb here, told him he was open. Boy, I love the... I love the the skinny drag there, the short drag, and then just playmaker in it back. Really hiding behind that offensive line. Now what if, I don't know, let's just throw a name out. Kelvin Benjamin's on the drag. Is it still, you know. I don't, I don't talk about Florida State players. Good, you're a smart man. Dion's about, the, Dion's about the only guy from Florida State that I'll talk about just because he's Dion. Chris Winky? Winky? No. No? Dion is overcome. Like Dion's higher than just Florida State. You know, like he's you reach a different level where you just gotta you gotta put your hatred aside and just be like, okay, well, Dion's phenomenal. Second and ten at the 49. Really surprised to see him throwing the ball this much. You know, honestly, he's practicing at this point. He knows this game is his. Boy, I'm not willing to concede that. I got one G up. I haven't hit the double G yet. I'll just commit that this game is good. Not a good game yet. It's just, it's just good. And there is Dion once again all the way down at the 15. He playmakers up the middle and then throws it to the outside. I think that route was good. That's savage. Look at this playmaker up the field. And then he still throws it to the outside. Just waited for him to run away with his user. He didn't care how close he got to the sideline. What a read. Caught that thing like a butterfly with sore feet. And there is Johnson inside the five-yard line at the four. It'll be a new set of downs, and more importantly, more time to run off the clock here. Should get us to the two-minute yes, two, warning. Yeah. And now those timeouts have got to start being used by Niner. I don't know what the consolation prizes are. I guarantee you it's not those three timeouts, so we're going to have to use those. Boy, a lot of this was the way that first half ended. Could be a much different scenario right now. Not getting in there at the end of the half. Has sort of put a red carpet for not only Kirion Johnson, but Suspect, who pinning the PAT, is going to go up 31-10. to 10. 
And Nightmare came. That's a nightmare. That's, it is a that's, nightmare. that's probably it's, the best slip I've ever made. Yes. It is a nightmare right now for Niner. And just untouched until he gets to the end zone. Just unacceptable there. You have to run commit. You have to sell out. You got to put it all on the line here. Well, you know, it's the semifinals was a $1,000 game of Madden. This is increased to you're going to end up putting five grand in your pocket and just a guarantee that you're going to earn more. You're going to be heading out to the club championship uh, with the rest of the 32 teams in the league. And that all happens on January 30th. And I, I'll be honest with you. I, I, I'm not sure that the, this 49er team maybe doesn't have some some Hogan field advantage in there somewhere. You got to watch out for suspect uh, down the road here. He's going to make some noise in the club championship. I got a feeling he's looked really, really good on offense. And even if nothing else, you got to figure if suspect makes it far enough in that tournament next week, he'll have the actual home crowd on his side. Most of those people that are going to be there are going to be from that area. They're, you know, if they're going to root for someone, their rooting interest is going to be from someone from that Bay Area. Check out the Raiders out there. They're not in Vegas yet. Did they, they, I saw they won an extra year. They asked for the extra I, I, year. I think they started packing a truck, but maybe, you know, maybe just putting some things in the attic, getting ready. Now, you know I'm from Indiana. We hear trucks. We hear football. We think Mayflower. It yeah. doesn't sit well. No. I think it turned out. I think, I, think the, I think the squad you got right now is pretty good. You're talking about the... Uh, I'm talking about the Civil War captain, Andrew Luck. He's got a great beard. He does it's, have a phenomenal beard. It's really nice. It's up there with some of the offensive linemen in the he league. He puts, sc puts squir squirrel oil in it. That's the best. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, there's a, as a suspect picks this off. Six? He's not taking this to the crib. But there's an, Andrew Luck doesn't do social media, but there is a, there is an account on Twitter called Captain Andrew Luck. Mm -hmm. And it's from the perspective of him as a Civil War captain. And he writes letters home to his mom. And if you haven't checked it out, yes. it's, it's phenomenal. Whoever runs that account has quite the <laughs> vernacular, for sure. So second and nine at the 38-yard line. Dearest mother, thank you for the raccoon shins. You know, I look back at it and I think, you know, I believe the Redskins were the first game they won and like when they won that 10 in a row. Just, man, makes, makes me feel bad for what we could have been. This one's all but over. They'll hand it off here. And carry on Johnson. This one's in the fridge. This one's over. 31 to 10. And there is your Madden 19 49ers club champion, Suspect. He's going to be moving on to San Francisco next week. He'll be representing the Niners. There's your champ. That's right. And one for the old heads there. 29 years old. Gotta love it. All right. Thanks, Scott. I'm here with Suspect the Champion. How does it feel? You have that ball. I see you tucking it. You're feeling good. It feels good. Um, it's just it's just a stepping stone to where I want to be, but it feels good. I, I got to get my name established out there, so hopefully I can make some noise in a couple weeks. Now, before the tournament started, you came to me early and said, hey, I know I might not be your favorite to win this, but I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to shock the world. How does it feel to be a prognosticator? Uh, you know, I was just giving you a hard time. Of course, you know, he, he's the champ, so I had to knock him off. But, you know, I had to have the confidence, so I was just giving you a hard time about it. Now, you played excellently. Out of 100% of your game, how much of it did you get from your brother? All right, all right, come on. So I always say, I was telling RG, I, I taught him how to play Madden. He introduced me back into competitive Madden. So, you know, he got me right. He got me ready for today, so especially for Monster. So I, I give the credit to him and a few other guys that I lab with. So. Well, you definitely deserve a lot of the credit because you were the one here on the sticks. You got it done, and you're going to be heading to San Francisco to represent the 49ers at the club championship. As you get prepared for your next step, what are your thoughts? Uh, just, you know, get Go back, get ready. I'm going to play the Rams' first game, so I just, you know, you got to start from scratch. You got to start from scratch. All right. Well, the suspect has got it done. He is ready to move on, and I'm ready to toss it back to Big Grocery and Scott. All right. Thank you so much, Rico. 